wanted to shout out also to TRN and TRN Peter for uh, sending me these. Um, I have three bangers uh, that I haven't uh, got out yet. One is the TA4, the hybrid uh, that I absolutely uh, sitting on my desk that I haven't done a review for as well. Semi open back. It's coming out. I'm just I'm just overloaded with stuff. Um, fantastic tuned hybrid as well. The uh, MT4 that again I think it's very inexpensive. That blue one that I got um, that the HBB collaboration collapsed. I I thought it was also terrific. Uh, one of our other members of our group, Kevin Davies, who's got golden ears, also really thought highly of it for, you know, again, under 20, 20 buck I am. Anyway, um, more stuff coming up. Thank you. Tone Deaf Monk, gonna shoot you another couple videos, quick ones, uh, just so if you were looking at picking up uh, something at 1111, um, put it in your shopping cart. Um, TRN Conch. So right now, TRN official store, 1111 sale, $25 US. Okay. Let me explain what you're getting. First of all, and a comparison. Okay, so let me show you these bad boys first off. Metal shell, full metal shell, full metal jacket, baby. You can see a little vent there that looks like a Simgo EA2000 or EA1000. Nice little metal shells, um, total finger magnets as well. Check this out. Nozzles come out. Red filter. You look inside, you can see the driver. And they come with three sets of filters. Does this look EA-1000-ish? Yeah. Kind of does. Comes on this metal plate labeled black, blue, and red. Now, I think the uh, blue one comes on the unit itself. That is the brightest one. And I'll pull up a graph here in a second. And the black knocks it down a little bit. And the red seems to have this tuning made for me. What else do you get? Well, you also get this absolutely, it's called the TRN Red Chain. And this is a modular cable. Did I tell you this was 25 bucks? Hold on for a second. Let me get it better. Okay, this modular chain is actually one of my favorites. Sells for about $15 by itself. I think I've showcased this before. Listen to this. Why I love this chain or this cable by itself is the modular ends are absolutely stellar. They have this grippy thing on both ends for your fingers to pull it apart, which takes a bit of pressure to do, which is fabulous. How many times have you had a modular cable? where you're plugging it into your gear and you pull out the end and the plug stays in your gear. It's annoying as hell. These don't do that. It's, I love the ends. And it's an SPC cable that looks absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's got this uh, darky brown and a lighter brown. Um, it's a great looking cable. The ends are molded like this with nice ear hooks so when they go on to the im and there's the qdc style 
when they go on, they look finished. They look good. So this I am, even at 35 bucks, say 45 bucks, okay? But it's selling for 25 right now during 11.11 sales. Um, if you bought it just for the cable itself, I've said this before in a TRN video, if you just bought it for its cable, you'd get your money's worth. <laughs> Comes with a case, little puck style case. A schwack load of tips. Uh, so foam tips, some tips that look like the um, uh, final E. Really, really nice. Uh, harder inside, but really soft outside. And you also get their TRN T-tips included. And you get foams. You get 4.4. 3.5 single-ended and 2.5 balanced included. All's in the box. But the important stuff is how does this sound? So when it came in, uh, what happened for me was I didn't have a chance to listen to it because I went on a little uh, mini vacay and I stuck it on the burn rack uh, hard for three days. Um... I graphed it first, um, and then, because uh, I wanted to pull it up, I was just super curious, and noticed something immediately. It's like, wow, you know, this thing looks like a SimGot EA500. It graphs like a SimGot EA500, has replaceable tuning nozzles like an EA500, and then I came back and today i spent the good part of a day listening and not just listening to this lo and behold i whipped out the sim got ea 500s now to make it as most fair as i can i went to stock filters um but i used the kit uh version where the tuning kit where I could put, um, uh, it came with some foams and some things. So I'll show you on the graph my favorite tuning that I thought I could get the best sound out of the EA 500s. With that particular tuning, it's really lovely sounding, quite nice. When I graphed the two and did a comparison on Squig, um, red to red i noticed a couple interesting things and i'll pull up a graph here the one thing that was slightly different uh, in the graph was there was an 8k kind of peak with the conch and i was a little worried about that to tell you the truth but let's tell you how i heard these things so spoiler alert uh, if these were the same amount of money as the sim got ea 500 I tell you to buy the TRN conch. That is speaking massive volumes. Absolutely. Um, this is how I heard the two. Both red filters. Um, but let's actually, let's just talk about the conch just for a second. So my listening impressions were done with the red filter. Um, and which is weird, okay, so, <laughs> uh, so these three things here, I took a picture, and I'll post a picture too, the black, the blue, and the red, and the funny deal is um, that with the SimGot, for instance, you could see different tuning filters, you could see different uh, mesh filters in the three, when I look through these and I and I I honestly can't see a difference in any of these filters except for the little rubber nozzle ring blue red thing but obviously it's doing something because or a lot 
because it doesn't graph that way and it certainly doesn't sound that way. So stuck with the red, it hits my preferred sound signature. Um, again, you know, I like a little bit um, more natural sounding. Neutral with a bass boost, not too uh, high, not too much in the highs where it would be fatiguing. Uh, I still like my air and extension. That's, uh, of course, uh, but nothing's too sibilant. Uh, and the problem with, I think, every sim got so far is that they're tuning for not the Western market. Uh, I was reading an article yesterday about um, when you see this phrase, female poison, when they describe uh, IMs. And that really has to kind of translated to making female uh, vocals pop out. And in order to do that, like J-pop music and stuff like that, um, even the boys sing like girls. I'm sorry. That's the way I feel. <laughs> and it's true. Anyway, uh, lots more high frequency energy. That's tuned for the Asian market, which is a whole lot bigger than Western market. So and that's the biggest problem with the uh, Simgos so far is that they just have a lot of energy up there. And the whole tuning preference for, for Western markets, for my ears, is to knock down some of that pin again, knock down some of that high frequency energy, make it more balanced uh, out there. And, and when you do that, it brings up the bass. You don't have to touch the bass, but if you lower the highs, you're going to get more naturally more bass. Okay, so... They have these three tuning filters. Uh, I use the red, which is the least amount of high frequency, and it's lovely. Now, uh, how does the uh, conch sound uh, without comparison, first of all? Well, bass is nice. It is nice, and it's speedy, and it's clean. Um, and I think, really, that has to do with the... It has everything to do with the driver, right? Uh, absolutely. Um, overall, I think this IM is very, very balanced. Um, you want to know what's funny? As I actually haven't looked at any of the information from TRN until just now. <laughs> and, uh, okay, uh, the all their factory graphs, and I've noticed this on uh, a bunch of their recent stuff are matching up with my IEC 711 clone coupler to a T. So if you look at a factory graph, it will it will sound like that. Um, and so I was said earlier, I'll take that back where I can't see a difference. And if I would have read that, it would have said that they changed the inner diameter of the filters the nozzle filters and that's what's changing the tuning um it's bloody brilliant uh really um now the driver itself is a diamond like carbon uh double magnetic cavity okay uh i could care less um but it's interesting to know what they actually have used, whether it be a DLC or uh, beryllium, that kind of stuff. I, I really like the sound of this little driver. Um, and uh, it's pretty nice. Um, let's talk about more about the sound, because um, I think it's, it's a special one. Um, it's well balanced. Uh, this IAM is really actually well tuned, especially with the red nozzle filter for me. Um, vocals play very neutral, uh, not forward in the mix, not recessed uh, with that tuning. Uh, mids still have a really nice weight, um, enough weight for male vocals to sound very correct. And especially for female vocals, very, very correct. Um, and I love how the, it can add, and, and I'll do a little bit of track compressions as well, just I wanted, because I was doing the AB with the EA500. Um, they sound very, very nice. Uh, stage is also actually very nice, better than the EA500, a little bit wider. 
Um, let's do that comparison now, right? I don't want to make this too long. This is obviously a fantastic buy at the 1111 price, an absolute no brainer. Um, how do the two sound different? Well, the bass on the EA 500 without any kind of modifications or tape or mod, the bass is thumpier on the EA 500, but I think the quality of the bass is better on the conch. Uh, the driver itself sounds, dare I say, better. The tonality, overall tonality, uh, between the EA500 and the conch is very, very, very close, like 98%. Um, where the differences come in is stage is a little bit wider on the conch. Uh, the EA500 definitely pulls a little bit lower in the sub bass for tracks that have that. Uh, but on the other end of the side, the conch has more air and seriously more details. Now again, on this graph, you'll see this kind of peak around eight kilohertz. And uh, I'm typically sensitive in that area. Um, but what I found listening to these is it didn't bother me at all. In fact, it what it did do is add more air details and separation over the EA500. Um, and still maintaining an overall more balanced sound than the EA500. A couple songs, a couple uh, tracks, just to give you my thoughts and how I came to these impressions. Uh, Dreams of Reason by the Tea Party. Um, some rock. Uh, I preferred the playback on the conch. Slightly more resolving. Um, it just like what it did to violin or to guitars. Um, and how they sounded, the tonality of it. Um, what Kind of Man by Florence and the Machine. Um, this song, the conch, really brought out the edge to her voice. Um, bass has more weight on the EA500, but the sounded more correct on the conch and more balanced overall. Lament by Yong San Na. Uh, if you don't know the singer, she is very talented, uh, and her recordings are spot on. Uh, I preferred the bass on the conch, uh, just because it wasn't as thick as it was on the EA500. Uh, and listening to this too, uh, you could tell that the EA500 plays a bit warmer in its tonality than the conch. Um but I actually preferred the extra energy of the conch uh, and its playback over the EA500. The reason I'm making such a big deal about this is I love the EA500. I've recommended it thousands of times uh, and it's absolutely stellar I am. But I think it's also still at over $80 US. And this not on sale is less than half of that on sale is 25 bucks closer by kings of leon you could tell that the conch was more resolving vocals have better tonality and the replay sounds more true to what i think is the intended replay um, from the artist and the producer and that kind of translated to every other song that I listened to. Uh, I could have gone on and done more A, B, A, B, and I did. I spent hours and hours first listening to the conch and then doing the A, B comparison. Um, in conclusion, fantastic build. Tunable nozzles that work. A little holder modular baller modular cable i've been saying this to simgo for years is get rid of that shitty little cable and give us something obviously other manufacturers can do it um and you know it can i mean even the on the the trn red chain cable it comes with a nice bead as a great working chin slider. These are little details, right? Um, 
I find the, the cable perfect. It's non-tangly. I mean, I don't get into cables, uh, though I'm a big cable whore. Um, right. <laughs> so, and even that, uh, I had the EA500 on a $200 um, cable. And it still didn't outperform, in my opinion, the conch. Um, I actually really like the sound of the TRN cable. I bought six or seven of them already. As a modular cable, it's fantastic. And you can get them with uh, iPhone and Android uh, USB-C and Lightning as well, right? <laughs> so uh, build quality, fantastic. Sound quality, fantastic. Uh, overall tuning and tonality, top rated. If this, I mean, this is a... Uh, $35 IM, I could be talking about a $300 IM and don't shoot its praises. I just did the Chopin and uh, didn't like it at all, right? In my opinion, this $25 IM is a way better tuned IM than a $250 one um, with more stuff, a nicer cable, <laughs> everything. Uh, the only thing that the Chopin beat it out was with that little uh, carrying case. But, you know, I'll go buy my own. But even this little puck is fantastic. Anyway, enough about this. Do I recommend it? I'm not recommending it. You've seen my video. If you want to go buy it, uh, you go buy it. Because uh, I think it's a winner. Um, I think the EA500 uh, is now getting shelved uh, for a lesser expensive IM for me. Uh, and that's what I do. I mean, I have some of my IMs in my favorite case down by my listening thing. So when I just want to pick something up, um, the EA500 has always been there. And I think I'm, since I like the sound of this better over the EA500 for my personal taste, EA500 is getting put on the shelf and be used for comparisons. Um, and the conch will take its place. This is a tone deaf monk. Thank you much.